So this etude or exercise is from Giuliani's Opus 1, Part 3. And uh, you can get the free sheet music. There's a link for this under the video. And um, you can also pick up a tab version if you need it. This piece is probably more for the intermediate level students um, because there's going to be some oddities in the fingerings. And, but the purpose of this etude is very, very clear. Like the pedagogical purpose of this etude is excellent. Um, you have this running eighth note line in the top voice that's going to continue the whole time through just using MI, so alternating fingers. But in the bass voice, the main point of this exercise, as Giuliani states, is to hold the note values for their proper value. So there's whole notes in the bass at the beginning. So you have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You can't let go of those bass notes as you play the other notes. So they all have to connect to one another, which ends up giving you some kind of freaky fingerings, like in the second bar. next shape. You have to use some of those fingerings because you have to sustain the bass notes for their full value. This is a real common issue with um, early intermediate students. In this particular case it's probably going to be more for like advanced students getting used to like some more difficult hand shapes and hand positions um, and making sure that they're just listening very carefully and being very professional about the fact that the bass notes have to sustain for their full value. But like I said, um, students that are transitioning from the beginner level to like the intermediate level often have a problem that they let go of bass notes too early. And then the bass voice, if there is a bass voice, um, it sometimes is incomplete. It doesn't, it's not an independent voice of its own that connects to the next bass note. But in, in this case, we have two voices. We have an upper line melody and we have a bass voice. And each of those have to progress in a legato fashion. So I'll just run through the piece really quickly and just talk as they go, but um, there's not much else to say. It's just hold those note values for their proper value and make sure everything connects and just no exceptions in this case because this is a very specific, this is more on an exercise level than it is on an etude level. So yeah, so, you know, be a little bit uh, hard on yourself in terms of making sure that you're doing it. To use the second finger on C so you can grab the F with the one and then just get into that first position as efficiently as possible stretch Giuliani played a slightly smaller guitar so that stretch might have been a little bit easier but it's a good exercise it's not that hard first fret so all the way through there where the bass notes turn into half notes make sure you're connecting them just like that you can practice it on its own but then when you put it together or something, right? Two voices um, continuously running, right? Um, so where did we leave off? Um, I'll just go back to this F and B flat. Here, just make sure that your hand is swung around the whole time and your knuckles are aligned so that the fourth finger can get these bass notes. If your hands like this you have to reach out or like do a jump with your hand you want to avoid that just have that hand not much to talk about
chord here. Is like you have to listen very carefully. I noticed a few times when I was practicing the piece that I was like I let go of the bass note a couple of times and what I had to do is I had to just focus a little tiny bit more, concentrate a little bit more, listen more carefully and make sure that I'm connecting it and then um, and then it went much better. So you might want to even just play the bass voice on its own um, just to really get into your ear that you have to connect it and you have to think of it as an independent voice. And then you just have to make sure that you're, you're actually doing it, um, which is actually a little bit difficult. So it's a great etude for intermediate students um, for getting left hand positions down and just remembering to sustain notes. Um, there's complications that occur, but you just follow the fingerings. Um, nothing's, nothing too drastic happens, but it is like you just have to pay attention to it. It's not, it doesn't come that easily. So. Go through the piece and I think it'll really um, help you notice in your own playing and your other pieces where you might not be sustaining notes the whole time. So this is a dedicated exercise or etude just for that purpose. <laughs> 